वेलकम बैक गाइस क्वेश्चन नंबर 28 एंड हियर वी हैव टू डिटरमिन द डेसिमल वैल्यू ऑफ ई साइन बाइनरी नंबर इन द टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर्म ओके सो हियर द मेथड विल रिमेन द सेम द ओनली मेथड वी विल फॉलो हियर विल बी दैट इन व्हिच आई हैव टू राइट द पावर्स ऑफ टूज टू 1 टू 2 टू 3 टू 4 टू 5 टू 6 एंड माइनस टू 7 okay so the method here will remain the same as we have to follow for finding the decimal equivalent from the ones complement forms in our previous videos but what will be the difference between the twos complement and ones complement decimal values there uh, whenever we got any negative numbers we had to add one with it at the end but here we are not going to do so so therefore the first square question here is 1 Double zero, double one, double zero one. Okay, so let me write here. So one, double zero, double one. Okay, double zero one. Okay. So uh, these will be multiplied together, and here I will get what I will get here. I will get here one plus this is eight. Okay, this is how much? This is sixteen. Okay, and this is minus one twenty. Eight. So now minus one twenty eight plus sixteen plus eight is how much? That is twenty four plus one is twenty five. Okay. So at the end I will get minus one zero three. Okay. So that is the decimal equivalent of this number, and the answer of it is minus one zero three in the decimal form. Okay. Similarly for the next question we have. Let me. remove it and just by writing their values here what i will get 0 111 so here 0 111 zero, 0100 okay so what i will get here this will be 4 plus this is 16 plus here 32 plus 64 okay so adding them together what i will get 64 Plus thirty-two is ninety-six. Plus four is hundred and sixteen is one hundred and sixty-sixteen in decimal. So the answer of it is one hundred and sixteen in the decimal form. Okay, so that is the decimal equivalent of one hundred and sixteen. Now similarly, finding the decimal equivalent of this number, what we have to do again? Let me remove it. And writing all the values here one zero, all the ones. Okay, and now finding them, what I will get here? This is one plus two plus four plus eight plus sixteen plus thirty two. Okay, and this is minus one twenty eight. Okay, so let me solve them minus one twenty eight plus thirty two. Plus sixteen, plus eight, plus four, plus two, plus one. Uh, this is sixty-three. Okay, sixty-three minus one twenty-eight is minus sixty-five. Okay, so that is the decimal equivalent of it, and we will see that it is now this one. Okay. so that is the sole difference between the ones complement and twos complement what we have seen in our previous videos and uh, by following the same procedure which was basically the ones complement form in our previous uh, video so what if you use the conventional method what you have to do okay so in that video let me use the same procedure here for this number so if i have 10 1111 One one, okay. So this is basically a number, and here this one means this will be a negative number, okay. So if it will be a negative number, let me first invert all these numbers. So what I will get zero one, and all the others will be zero, okay. So once I will get it, let me add one with it, and I will get here what this will be one zero, okay. As this is a two form, that is zero zero. Zero zero one zero. Okay, so I will get this number. Now uh, writing the binary equivalent of it, what I will get? This is the only bit here, and this one here. So this will be one plus this is what? This is a six bit. So two plus four six is sixty four. So sixty four plus one is how much? 
that is 65 and as i have told you that it will be negative rum one so it is now minus 65 in decimal which is the same as this one here okay so the same procedure will lie also here but what you had to do after inverting all the bits what you had to do you had to add one with it same will lie for this one as well just take a look at it and give it a try and you will get the same answer as we have done here okay so that's it for today in which we have discussed the two methods for finding the decimal value from the two's complement form okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more questions in our upcoming video see you soon